Housebreaking, house training, potty training and toilet training are all words for the same thing. Potty training your Maltese puppy can be one of the most challenging parts of getting a new dog in your home. Pet owners often find this part of Maltese puppy ownership to be both a daunting and intimidating situation but it really does not need to be a stressful experience for you or your Maltese puppy. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique guide is in the description below. 1. Ensuring that you have an area for your Maltese puppy inside of the home. A Maltese puppy who is being toilet trained should never be allowed to wander anywhere they please, especially inside the home. They need to be limited to a small area of the home for the explicit reason of limiting the areas in which their toilet training accidents are taking place. Allowing your Maltese puppy free reign of the house will certainly result in toilet accidents occurring all over the home. This will mean a smelly house as well as a messy house. Until your Maltese puppy is fully housebroken it should be either in a contained area or kept outside when you are unable to monitor them. When trying to restrict the parts of the house that a Maltese puppy can use, there is a few pieces of advice which may help. Avoid using a dog crate. Dog crates can be very claustrophobic and restricting for a Maltese puppy. Crates generally do not provide adequate room for the Maltese puppy to move around or play and this can cause them to suffer from stress, both emotionally and physically. They have been shown that they are not helpful with housebreaking and will do more harm than good. Consider gates. Gates are a wonderful option when it comes to containing a Maltese puppy. They allow you the freedom to gate off an area of your choosing and it does not make the Maltese puppy feel claustrophobic as they have the ability to move around. Another benefit of gates is that you can move them to change areas you wish to keep the Maltese puppy in. This allows you to keep them out of certain areas such as carpeted areas. The great thing is that gates are not permanent so you can remove them once the dog is fully house trained. Playpens are useful. Playpens are not just for babies. They are a wonderful resource when it comes to housebreaking Maltese puppies, so much so that they are the number one recommended method by a lot of people. Playpens allow your Maltese puppy plenty of room to move and play and they can also hold the bed and toys for your Maltese all within easy reach. Playpens are even able to be used and help once your Maltese dog is housebroken as the playpens allow you to keep your Maltese puppy contained in an area when the need arises. Tips for setting up a playpen for your Maltese puppy. Choose an area of the home that is near people to locate the playpen. Playpens are portable which makes them incredibly useful but it is important to remember to place the playpen in an area where people are as Maltese dogs are a very social breed. Putting the playpen in an isolated part of the house will cause the Maltese puppy to become lonely and may cause separation anxiety. Also why would you want to separate a member of your family from the rest of the family, this just wouldn't make sense. Do not place the playpen in areas which may be uncomfortable for the Maltese puppy. It is not a good idea to place the playpen near a heater, in areas where there may be a draft or in constant direct sunlight. All these things can be both uncomfortable and even harmful for your Maltese puppy especially when the puppy may be left unattended. Make sure the Maltese puppy's belongings are also in the playpen. You will want to include a bed, their favorite dog toys, some food and water. Other areas of the playpen should be lined with pee pads to minimize mess and enable easy cleanup when accidents happen. Types of playpens for potty training. There are a few different types of playpens on the market with the most common being made from heavy molded plastic and those made of nylon or mesh. There is also the option of having a door or not having a door as part for the playpen. It is highly recommended that Maltese puppies should have a playpen with a door and preferably a playpen made from molded plastic. Molded plastic pens are sturdy and are very easily moved if required. A door is a very important feature when it comes to a Maltese puppy's playpen. When you have a door in the playpen you have the option to leave the door open so that when you are able to supervise, the puppy it allowed to have some freedom. This also allows the Maltese puppy to come and go from the pen when it wishes to get toys or take a nap. This also allows the Maltese puppy to feel more at home in its space and is more likely to enjoy spending time in there. 
2. Choose a location for your Maltese puppy's bathroom area. Maltese puppies are a small dog and can be trained to go to the bathroom indoors by using pee pads. But it is usually more successful to try and train your Maltese puppy to go to the bathroom outdoors. If you do decide to go for the indoor toilet training method you may want to keep the playpen door open and use the pads down on the floor as the one spot that you want your Maltese dog to go to the bathroom on. If you choose this method it is often a good idea to make the spot in which you wish them to go to the bathroom to be some distance away from the playpen as otherwise their playpen will start to smell. If you decide to go with the outdoor toilet training method then you need to choose an area where you wish the dog to go to the bathroom which is always accessible to them in any weather. Ideally it should be at least 10 feet 3 meters away from the door and other family areas like children's play equipment or a barbecue. This is for health reasons and if you teach them to go near the back fence that is where they will go as it becomes routine. Once you have chosen an area you need to be consistent and keep this as the area you expect them to go to the bathroom. The idea is that your Maltese dog will then do its business in that particular spot without being on a leash. Although in the beginning it is important that you take your Maltese puppy outside to where you wish it to go. If you simply let the Maltese dog run outside on its own it will go wherever it pleases and will not learn to go in a specific area. Housebreaking or toilet training is about creating repetition and a habit or routine of where they go when they need to go to the toilet. It is also very important to supervise a Maltese puppy outside for many reasons. Especially when they are younger and exploring. This is because outdoors can include dangers such as other animals which may be around, eating something they shouldn't like plants and weeds and any other hazards which may be outside. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.